The first thing I want to do is apply soft putty on my brows. It's a material that's like Play-Doh, so you can work it inside your hands so you can make it warmer and more pliable, easier to work with. This is used by prosthetic makeup artists in order to create fake face parts, like for example a fake nose, which is why it is also called a nose putty. But it, I find it to be a thing of the devil. It is not easy to work with at all. As you can see, I'm not using my fingers, I'm using the back of my tweezers to work it onto the skin because it sticks to the fingers. It's meant to stick on any skin, so it's going to stick to your fingers as well. So I really wanted to try it out and see how it goes, but feel free to skip this step and just cover up your brows. I did have to use my fingers at some point though, just to create the piece between the eyes, so on the base of the nose, because I wanted to give a more wide appearance. I wanted it to look like my eyes are further apart and they're separated by a bit of skin that's protruding in the middle and also on my eyebrows. And the reason I started off with covered up brows already was because I wanted to have sort of a protective film between my own brow hairs and the soft putty. Because if you try to remove that stuff straight from your hairs, it's going to hurt. I'm setting it with powder and now I'm ready to move on to my foundation. So I created my own concoction using MAC Face and Body in white and also MAC golden olive pigment which is a shimmery green pigment so i'm applying this green liquid all over my face and neck area this is going to catch the light beautifully which is useful for what we want to do next here i'm applying a wig cap if you don't have one you can use fishnet tights and the reason i'm doing this as you can see it's not that comfortable is just so i can apply this black eye shadow over it and then when I remove it, it's going to look as though I have reptile scales on my skin. So I'm applying a matte black eyeshadow all over my face. There's really no method to my madness. I'm just putting it anywhere I want my snake to have patterns all over its face. I'm doing the same with a golden paint, going over the black a little bit, not the entire thing. But also applying it on my nose for a slight highlight. You want to remove your net very carefully so you don't mess up the end result and repeat the stencil process on the neck. Now moving on to the eyes. I'm using a matte base all over my eyes and I'm winging it out slightly, blending it out as well. This is my Bobbi Brown Gel Liner which is going to serve as a really black base. I'm going over it with a black eyeshadow and filling in the waterline with the same gel liner. I'm creating a small point in the inner corners just so my eyes look a little more pointy. Now I'm starting with my contouring. I'm taking the black eyeshadow over my crease but not over my brows. I want them to look like they're taking up a lot of space and they're pushing the eyes apart if that makes sense. So now I'm taking my same mixture that I use on my skin and I'm applying it in a vertical manner on the center of my lids. And then I'm proceeding with my highlighting. This is Gorgeous Gold by MAC, which is a chartreuse yellow color. It's like yellow shot through with a light green. So I'm highlighting certain parts of my face, just adding a bit of warmth with this yellowish color, just so it doesn't look so gray and flat. Moving on to my mascara, I'm not applying any false lashes for this look. And then straight on with the lips. I want to make them look like they're slightly smiling. I'm not outlining them at all. I don't want them to look like human lips. And I'm also creating the tiny little hole in the center of the lips that many snakes have. And last but not least, I applied my yellow contact lenses, which were meant to be cat lenses, but I saw them as snake or a dragon or reptile lenses in any case. So I hope you enjoyed this look. Feel free to comment down below and let me know what you thought. Thank you for watching and I'll see you soon.